is strange, but what do we care? We just want to be there. On the range with you. So what if John does the cooking and Barbara does the stirring? We like what we see, so keep on occurring. On the range with you. Stan the Trash Man is watching the scene and making real sure that everything's clean. Brother Robert is there. You won't go anywhere. You better be all right because security is tight. Big Al telling folks they better laugh at his jokes. And Manuel and Ken are the other two men who help you get going so we can start showing. Home on the range, at home on the range with you. So Barbara, don't be late. John Hurt has got to tape. Mama Jean's at the gate and you better not be late. The audience is waiting and anticipating. It's time to start the show and we really got to go too. Home on the range, at home on the range. Yeah. Yes. So they make it clean up around here now too. Yeah. Well, you know, we can... All right. You're doing good there. Sorry. Okay. Um, All right. Folks, let's have a nice round of applause for the stars of the show tonight, Miss Barbara Venezia and John Green. Come on. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> I think they've been drinking. Drinking? Yes. I think heavy drugs is more like Boy. it. Oh my gosh. Terrible. Well, welcome to the garage. Another must be of my show. It must be all those people from Anaheim. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> we have the relatives from Anaheim and they're here tonight. Well, I'll tell you what, this is probably the largest crowd we've ever had in the garage. I mean, they go on for miles and miles. And hey, if you want yeah. to come to the garage, just call us and we'll get you a ticket into the garage. It's fun and it's free. Yeah, yeah. That's the main word. But hey, this is our second week with our new advertiser, Breath Assure. Breath Assure, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is this a good audience or what? Yeah, yeah. They are really well trained. That's good stuff. Okay, you can buy it. So you can buy it everywhere. You can buy it everywhere. Everywhere. Grocery stores. Can you buy it? Can you stores? buy it in Ralph's? Well. But you know what? If you can't find it, you call me and I'll tell you where to find it. But the thing about Breath Assure is, is if you have stinky... <laughs> if you have stink, really stinky, awful breath, right? And then yes. you just open this up, and I've been opening them all wrong. You open them this way, right? And then you take these little pellets. They're three little pills. Three. You take two to three. Yeah. Take them with water. They're little capsules. Little capsules. They look like cod liver oil pills. <laughs> They're sunflower oil, parsley seed oil, and there are no preservatives, no alcohol, no sugar. I wonder if they're fattening. Sure, they got oil in them. You think so? Yeah. I don't think so. No, they're not fattening. Anthony says they're not okay. fattening. And he All should right. know. He made these. Do you know what? I got to tell you, Anthony... You would, Anthony wouldn't lie, would he? No. <laughs> I got to tell you, Anthony told me this story. Anthony is the guy who, make, who makes Breath Assure and who found the idea. <laughs> Um, Anthony liked p garlic, pickles, and onions. It's gar pickles with garlic and onion, which is like really disgusting. Anyway, his wife couldn't stand his breath. And it was either give up the pickles or give up his wife. So he, he made could, He could have got an Italian wife. <laughs> well, like, I don't think that was an option, okay? okay? This was a better option. Make the pills, keep the wife, okay? And then... <laughs> And then, I'll tell you how smart this guy is. His wife is president of the company. He's ah. vice president. Ah. So. Okay. All right. All right. So, if your breath stinks, get this. <laughs> okay. Now, All on right. with viewer mail. Oh, and then Stan the Trash Man. Look what he gave me. He gave me a recycle cup. And Isn't on this nice? cup, it says reduce, reuse, recycle. Okay. And now make this world a better yeah. place. All right. Yes. And then, yeah. look what my girlfriend sent me. Hold this up. <clears throat> it says, home on deranged. This is your cat. This is your cat on drugs. This is your cat on a really hot skillet. Any questions? <laughs> okay. All right. All right. We get the best beer mill. Okay. And then, 
There's this, okay. See, see, get a close up of this. I'm using your belly as a um as kind of a a background. Okay, it's All a right. postcard we got with a lady in the kitchen. Got that, John? Okay. And it says, Dear Barbara and John, you have come a long way, baby. I just love you and your recipes. I'm even a big fan of Big Al's now. Mm. Your show can't get any better. I love everything about it and look forward to my laugh a week when you're on. Good luck. You should be on national TV. Your fan, Margie. Wow. Thank you, Margie. We agree. We should be on national TV. Yes, yes. All right. All right. Yeah. You know, we, we were on national TV, but we got fired. <laughs> you just piss everybody off. No, it's, it's Barbara's language that did it. She's terrible, awful. Oh, and I have to tell you this. A couple weeks ago, he's complaining that this show is so much work, right? So I said to him, well, what I'll do is I will pick the recipes and I will go shopping for you so that it will make this easier, right? So I write all these recipes and I'm typing them and getting them out of books. And yesterday he faxes me this very nice letter. It says, <laughs> Barbara, here are the recipes for the month. As most of these have to be modified to fit our time and stirring situation, someone who is thoroughly experienced in cooking would have to do the shopping before the show, pre pre prepare and select pots and pans and tools, so I had better continue with these chores. Right. God, I thought I was going to get out all that work. No. Yeah. So that was a very gingerly way of telling me to but, buzz But off. Barbara sent me these recipes that it said, it started out, it said, marinate this for three hours, you know, on a 21-minute show. <laughs> anyway, that's viewer mail, and of course, always watching over us is our stiff chicken. <laughs> all right. Okay, well, what do we start with? We're, we're making... Uh, a, um, it's called a cheeseburger pie. A cheeseburger yes. pie. And this is a, a recipe off of a biscuit box. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, not this box, but it come off a biscuit box. Another gourmet uh, another dish. One. Yes. Very good. Okay, so now... And you've got to get this, what I'm doing, i got water and biscuit, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get it so it's just right, so we can... We can roll it out. You it's know. doughy. Yes. But no one can see this. They can't. No, because we don't have an overhead camera here. Our Busby Berkeley camera's yeah. here. Do you realize that now this is Now that we got another sponsor that pays, maybe we can buy another camera pretty soon. <laughs> well, yes, that would be good. Do we put oil in this pan? Why not? Put a little oil in that pan. No. We did that, we did that the last show. Well, yeah, but you couldn't see them fry. Wait. We had something with a lot of onions and stuff. <laughs> Hey, they're cooking now. Look, they're dancing. Yeah. Can you see those little buggers run? Boy. Ah, that one did it. Yay. And, and, okay, so he, he well, they're said, just oil, right? He said there was no oil in there. It's non-fattening. No, here, it says oil. There's sunflower oil. Okay. And parsley seed oil. Those are oils. Okay. Anyway, they fr look at that bubble. Wow. Very cool. I, had a, I feel I had like a rolling Mr. Pin. Science. A rolling pin? Rolling pin. <laughs> Maybe hey, over there. I am just the stirrer. Maybe okay? you look over there. Maybe it's over there. Maybe it's over there. You got a rolling pin with a sock on it. Yeah. Is that like for protection? Yeah, it's. That's <laughs> 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 right. First. Yeah, safe, safe cooking. Safe, safe, safe cooking. Safe cooking, yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, you boy. You never can be too careful these days. Oh, boy. You don't know who you're rolling with. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, but if they that. stink, you can always use breath assure. <laughs> okay, here, Barbara, you can have that, all right? Okay. All right, now. We're gonna this try to heavy. get this. We're gonna try to get this into that pan there without ruining it. You know that? Oh, it's sticking to the thing already. Sticking. Oh boy. You know what though? I bet you if you would put flour trouble. there, we're gonna it be in worked. trouble. Yeah, we put flour there. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're, well. gonna be, we're gonna be in trouble. We're gonna be in trouble. No, it's working. Uh oh, it's gonna work. It's gonna work. <laughs> that looks terrible. Come on, come on, come on. It's you working. You got big holes. 
holes in that. Well, we're going to plug them up. Okay, can I plug the holes? Well, let's get this unfolded first. You know, we got too much water. Let's start all over. <laughs> got a little, I got a little too much water. Okay. Okay, right. I'm ready. Maybe I should roll this time. All right, you roll this time. No, you got to get this with just. I used to be just, a good roller, you know. Just, I bet you did. I rolled with the best of them. Oh boy. Now we're getting there. Okay. Now we're getting there. So now we got it. Yeah. You know, I'm so proud of you. You just don't give up. No, can't give up. Can't give up. Now we need a, a, a knife and a fork. Want to see what my nails look like? Yeah. Oh, they're nice. They're nice. Look at that. They're, they're neat. And my jewelry right. looks good next to it, Oh, that does, too. yeah. Hey, that ring is bigger than you had last week. Yes, I had it upgraded. All right. That was for my second anniversary. I can't wait till my third anniversary. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. You guys have been married two years already. Two years. Boy. Can you believe it? Oh, boy. That's a long time. And while. I'm still married. Isn't that something? That's great. Well, now, this yeah. is good because the first time I was only married for you two know, years. You know, I gave her away at her wedding. <laughs> yeah, and Stan was the only person that would take her. Yeah. All right, now that's that's all done. Now we got to do something in the frying pan. What are we going to okay, do? What are we doing? What does it say? Pan? What does it say here? It says to. Can you to read do that? that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, 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 down we get down here. It oh, says beef, cook and beef, stir ground beef. beef. Turn the fire on. Turn the fire on. Yes, sir. Yeah, turn the fire on. Okay. Long burner. That's hamburger. Okay, that's now very that's lean the right burner, I think. Okay. You know, now you gotta look, chop it all up. Now just chop it all up in little pieces. And it's got a little yeah. hole right in yeah. there. And we don't need this anymore. Okay, take out your frustrations in the kitchen. Chop it up real good. I don't like to cook in the kitchen if you're gonna get dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not forget that looks are everything. Yeah. All right, all right. I tell that to my husband, Stan, the trash man, all the time. If he wants food, let him go to McDonald's. All right. Now. Okay, I'm mashing this. What good. else goes in here? We're going to put some, uh, some onion, and we probably ought to throw a couple of those breath assures in there with the onion, don't you think? Yeah. Huh? Look, something's trying to escape. <laughs> Now, Barbara, don't throw it all over the stove. I don't have a thing on the stove. All right. You're doing good. I'm doing good. Look, yeah. and see, they even go into these little balls all alone. Don't say balls. Like, oh, can't say balls. It's a family show. <laughs> We're on late night, though, you know? I'll tell you, we got a lot of balls cooking the stuff we do. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, well, we're cooking away. And oh, I'm smashing boy. and mashing. So how was your day today? Well, it was, be it, was, it was better than Saturday. Really? Saturday was a bad day. What'd oh, you do boy. Saturday? Well, we married one of my granddaughters off. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Was yeah. that sad for you to see another well, one go? Well, it was, it was, the good news was it was a good thing she got married because she was very pregnant. And, <laughs> but, but the, the bad well, news... Well, I can't wait to hear what the bad news was. Well, the bad news was the, the groom was a bum and he ran off right after the ceremony. But did she get to keep the ring? She kept the ring. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's right. That's the first yeah. rule of marriage. Don't give back the jewelry. All right. Let's see. How are we doing over there? Okay, well, this is Do you, do you have the fire on? Yeah. It's getting gray, so that All means right. it's cooking. No, that's not, that's not gray. That's, this is gray. See, this this color here, that's gray. So what color that's would brown. you decide that? No, that's, that's not brown. really brown. That's brown. This is gray. That's kind of taupe. Okay, now let's see. What are we going to do here? No. So you cook oh, it until your in. meat is taupe. we got to put in salt. 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 Half teaspoon harden of salt. Harden those arteries. Yeah, harden them up. Yeah. That's right. I was at cardiac rehab this afternoon. You were? Yeah, did good, boy. Ride like, that do you bicycle. have to graduate from cardiac rehab, or does that mean you're dead? No, you go forever. No, oh. you go forever. 
Okay. No, your chances, of, your chances of living a long time after you've had a heart attack are better than before. Do you know that? No, I didn't know that. Yeah. Why? Yeah, well, it just is. Let's see now. <laughs> oh. Thank you, doctor. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if your yeah. medical advice is as sound as your cooking you know, advice. You know, I am 68 years old, and my chances of getting to be 69 are a lot better than yours are. Probably. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm never dying. That's one cup. That's one cup of uh, cottage cheese. No, cottage puts, cheese. We put Is this something like else in here. Oh, we put eggs in here. Eggs no, it's, and cottage it's Ralph's, cheese. It's Ralph's cottage cheese. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get it in. Let's see. What are we doing with right this? It's, Should we, put we it bake right, this yeah, or something? Put it right over there and leave it alone. <laughs> Look, yeah, I stuck your thumb in it and screwed it all up. Oh, okay. Oh. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Can I make a little you know, design in it? You know, in two years, you'd think this broad would dummy up a little bit. God. Oh, boy. I'm just going back to stirring. All right. Now, you know, is the camera working really good? Because this, this recipe calls for some sliced tomatoes, and uh -huh. I got my $150 tomato slicer right here. And the camera's... What? Yeah. Now, the... Now, now some this is, this is something. Now the camera's got to watch this very carefully, closely. Are you watching this? Are you watching this, John? Okay. All right. Looky here. Now this is just a regular old ordinary tomato. Uh huh. And now watch here. My my hands will not leave my fingers. Watch. <laughs> now what do you got? Whoa! Isn't that neat? Isn't that neat? Isn't that neat? Well, you got to eat neat? a whole lot Isn't of tomatoes nice? to make that worth Yeah, while. you do. You do. Yeah, yeah. That's the end. We don't Did want that. Did you see that on late night TV? I bought this in Anaheim at Ace Fixture Company. Yeah. You did? Yeah. And if you like a lot of uh, like a lot of tomatoes, it's a great thing to have. Look at that. Isn't that something? Isn't that great? You know, it is so easy to amuse you. It scares me. All right. Now. <laughs> all right. We've got our uh, we've got our tomatoes. Now I, I'm not going to do it, but all you do now is you wash that off with just plain water, no uh -huh. soap or nothing, okay. and then you put it away. So yeah. what do we do with the tomatoes now? Well, that we've you're going to see. You're going to see. Okay. I can't wait. Stir. Barbara, you're not stirring. Oh, okay. Okay, what's next? Worcestershire sauce. What? One tablespoon full of Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> Wor Your pronunciation of that is really Do you know neat. a few, about, about 10, 15 years ago, a guy went to work for Worcestershire sauce company, what is it? It's Lee and Perrins. Uh-huh. And he told him he was going to double their sales. Yeah. And he did. And you know how he did it? No. He made the hole in the bottle bigger. That's a true story. True story. Yeah. True story. Yeah. True story. That's exactly what happened. Well, now, it certainly does smell good. Now, but what goes in here next? A little bit. A little bit. Of, a little bit of. Uh, of uh, Bisquick. Bisquick. Yeah. How much? Yeah. Oh, about a tablespoonful. Maybe two. Well, now he's Keep stirring. Blobbing up. Keep stirring. We're gonna. Well, we're gonna put. We're gonna put that in here. Okay. This pan is kind of heavy. It is very heavy. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's also burnt. Yeah, what's burnt? The pan. See, you can't burn these pans. This is a circulon pan. It won't burn. What's all this black stuff on the bottom? Well, it, it's a black pan, boy. <laughs> hey, boy. All right. Now, now we're okay. gonna put now we're gonna put this in here on Ew. here. Ew. Now this is cottage cheese and egg. Over we're, hamburger? We're, over hamburger, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're grossing out all the little kids in the really? front row. Well, this is really, in fact, the, the recipe says this is for kids. It's kind of like a pizza. Really? Mm-hmm. That's what they said in the, res in the recipe thing. Huh. Where'd you get this? It was off of a box of Bisquick. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well. Because we're going to bake this for 30 minutes. We are. And when this bakes for 30 minutes, then the, um, the eggs are all cooked and everything is wonderful. <laughs> all right. Now, now the tomatoes. Tomatoes on top of this. Tomatoes. Go round, round, round. Can round, I do that? Round the, no, well, no, it matches my nails. Does it? Okay. Now, now see how I'm putting them on there? Uh-huh. I can do that. Meet me around the edge. I can all right. do that. Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> Yay! 
You don't like that one. Oh boy. Wait, wait, this doesn't need a spot. Well, we got we got to get it all covered. You didn't cut enough well, tomatoes. You, well, you lapped them over, dummy. You're not supposed to lap them. They're supposed to go around. Oh, here. okay. Then take okay. extras out of here. Boy. Okay, look. You know, you almost qualify for being a blonde. <laughs> <laughs> All the natural blondes in the audience are now upset with you. Okay, well, all right. All okay, right. what's next? Cheese. A cheese. cholesterol killer. Yes, yes, cheese. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. Yay. What kind no, of cheese no, is no, this? Now, try not, this is sharp cheddar. Now, try not to get it on the, uh, on the, on the stove. stove. Yeah, now, get it all okay, around there evenly. Okay, look how now, lovely. Now, because this has to bake... For 30 minutes. 30 minutes. And at this, how hot is your oven? At, at 375 degrees. Uh -huh. And because this show is only 21 minutes, we have right here. All baked. All Whoa! Right. Ready to eat. How about that? <laughs> all right, all right. Well, here's your roving culinary reporter once again after another fine show in the garage. And we have one of the audience members, Steve. And this was your first show, wasn't it, Steve? Absolutely. This is my first show. What'd you think of it? Oh, it was wonderful. The chemistry between Barbara and John is absolutely amazing. Isn't it great? Now, usually when I'm talking to people, they want to take the mic. Don't you want to hold the mic? Absolutely not. I have no desire to hold that mic. What's wrong? Have you ever choked a chicken before? I... <laughs> now, what is your name? Jason. Jason, you're a very young member to be up so late tonight. What's your mom think of you being out this late? Uh, I don't know. No problem, huh? No. How'd you like the show? Good. Jason, tell me, how old are you? Eight. In your eight years, have you ever talked to a chicken's mouth before? Yes. Yes, he says. When would that be? Oh, uh, when I was three. And here we are. What is your name, young lady? My name is Shelley Schuler. Shelley Schuler. Now, what'd you buy, Shelley? I bought four mitts. Four mitts. Now, wouldn't one would be a mitt? Wouldn't four be mittens? I, I guess I bought four mittens for you know friends and family. Did you get them autographed? Of course. This is to my sister, Cindy. I don't care who they're all to, okay? <laughs> Jeez. We only got a minute here. <laughs> but those are nice, folks. I mean, you can write in and order these if you'd like. Those are the brand new at home in the range mitts or mittens, if you care. Now, Shelly, which is the top, the red or the home on the range? It depends range? on whether you're left or right-handed. That's the whole thing. They, see, left-handed people, this would, no, right-handed people, this would be the top, and left-handed people... This is no way. That doesn't work. <laughs> Anybody want to try the food? Okay. Why don't you try the food and tell us what you think? Okay. We want your honest opinion. How is it? Good. All right. There you have it. An expert, folks. Jason, the expert chicken talker. Tell me, sir, what is your name? Fred Rao. Fred, we got one more here. Fred, what do you think of the food? I uh, just barely tried it, but actually it tastes pretty good. Well, go ahead and try it bigly. <laughs> Does it taste better that way? <laughs> yes. Good. Did you enjoy the show tonight, Fred? Yes, I did. We uh, we have to come down here almost every week to get our, our weekly fix of the show because our local cable company took you off the air. What cable company was that? Mission, Mission Viejo. Everybody down in Mission be able to write that cable company, tell them we want it back on the air. Of course, if it's not on the air, you won't be able to see this. But if you happen to free at a friend's house, then write them. My wife makes a point of calling them once a day, every day, and lodge an official complaint. Well, I'm going to try it. And this one is very, very good. Come back and see us again some other time. Bye-bye for now. Say bye, Fred. Bye. cooking is strange, but what do we care? We just want to be there. At home on the range with you. So what if John does the cooking and Barbara does the stirring? We like what we see, so keep on occurring. At home on the range with you. John's dog Jack made us famous, you know. We cooked him some dog food right here on the show. Jack the dog is a celebrity now. We have to cook him a different kind of chow. At home on the range, at home on the range with you. Our relatives from Anaheim are coming in tonight. 
They're gonna clap and cheer for us and do what's ever right. They always come to see us whenever they're in town. So we like to have our relatives from Anaheim around. Hello.